Okay, continuing from the video narration we've done with CapCut. Remember we did the auto movie using AI templates. We did narration and now we're going to do auto-generated captions. So if you hit CapCut, tap the button to load your video. If you go to the project, uh, the one I was working on is this book. So I've got my narration over there. I'm going to tap it. If I go to text at the bottom, with the T, I'm gonna tap on that. Once I do that, it says auto caption. So it should be one, two, three, four. The letter A with the four dashes down here. So it's got this type of frame with the letter A in the middle. So there's auto captions. Tap on that. It gives me different styles. So what I would say is try them out. The pro ones are the ones that they want you to get on a subscription. And the free ones are the ones that don't say anything. So I'm going to tap this one here. Once you select a style, you notice it's highlighted. Then you have start. You can select sound source all or from the voiceover and select that. Try both because sometimes there is a glitch. So I'm going to make sure it's from Voice over that and start. Now if I hit play. I love this book because it has so much disregard for layout and it's so ad hoc and crazy that it really makes you think that you can make things in so many different ways. So if you notice in the previous, you saw that the writing was small. What you can do is if you can tap one of them. And then there's an option now that pops up that says batch edit. It's got a pencil with a stretchy thing at the bottom. What it allows you to do is if I individually grab one and I say I stretch it to a certain size and I leave it there, it's going to do it to all. Okay. So the 24 of them. So when I move along, it does it to all of them. So you can stylize one and you don't have to go through every single one of them. Okay. That is the basics of auto caption.